Me meanwhile, we had uh, to rely on our meds, a Luna crit, and three triangle attacks to kill the fire dragon. <laughs> okay. Uh, Lord Roy, before returning to the mainland, there's a matter to take care of. Uh, sorry, I forgot all the context. Uh, more bandits? No, thankfully. A legendary weapon is hidden in the cave not far from here. If we obtain it, we can fight the dragons more effectively. A legendary weapon? You're right. If we can get all eight of them, we might be able. We, have, we might have a chance to defend of defeating Burn. Yes, we must find as many as we can. Then let's go to the cave and get it. Uh, I think it's the axe, the legendary weapon. Did I? I don't know. Uh, I have to check. I got the sword. Uh, is there any other uh, legendary weapons? Let me just check real quick. Legendary weapons are mostly axe, right? So yeah, I got 8 axe, which is the axe. Sorry, the sword. Then there's the axe of thunder. The infernal element. Uh, the sickening darkness. I don't know if I missed any. I got the blazing sword. Uh, I got... I, I don't know. Uh, Lilina, Ostia... What's the name of the sword again? Uh, let me just check real quick. Uh, I am, okay. Follow uh, Axe of Thunder. It only Lilina can wield her <laughs> old man's axe. If only. Following Elfin's guidance, Roy heads for a cave near Jutes to obtain a legendary weapon. But Roy and the company aren't the only ones who know of the cave. Yet another battle awaits them. Ooh, a lot of chests. I will need at least two thieves, I guess. Yeah, two thieves. Uh, check map. Yeah, not knowing what's out there is gonna be trouble. Yeah, this is gonna be a uh, very difficult uh, round. Let's see if we can beat it. Augury. Which rating do you want to check? I did not know Augury was in this game. Alright, la la la. <laughs> Let's see my overall rating. <laughs> Keep up the good work. That's all. Wait. Oh no. Okay. Why? Okay. Are you winning battles? How's the survival rate? How strong are your units? Are you getting enough experience? Let's see. Keep up the good... She doesn't say anything. Let's say funds. I'm really poor right now. Alright, la la la. You're doing really well. Seriously, I don't have any money and I'm doing really well. Okay, I can take only a few units with me. This is gonna be a problem. So what I'm gonna do is... Let me just check if I need to recruit somebody this chapter before I actually on over to the chapter open 11 chests, 3 elixirs, 2 antitoxins, chest key, lockpick, torch, red gem, white gem uh, divine axe, armands oh armands the divine axe <laughs> that's what you're talking about Okay. 
So I think... I don't even know. It says I should take my, like, the tutorial, I mean, the website says I should take my... Taxis is, uh, wait, uh, Taxis is turn counts, EXP is levels, combat is to win battle ratio, fund is money, and survive is self-explanatory. Sent the cipher art of Lirina with Armands and Force Bleed in this card. Let's look at that art. <laughs> uh, let me show you guys again uh, if... Uh, so this is what uh, Barty looks like without the beard. And let me show you what Barty looks like with the beard. Uh, wait. Uh, I have Barty, right? Yes, so this is what Bardi looks like. It looks with the mustache and... Uh, wait, uh, give me a moment. This is what Bardi looks like without the mustache. So with the mustache, without the mustache. <laughs> That's a very different look, uh, if I say so myself. Uh, what else? Uh, Okay, there's one more fan art. Uh, so I know it's really small, but like the axe is too big for her, for like uh, according to me. But she looks really damn good in it, though. So there's that. <laughs> it's official art from the card game. It is. She looks so small holding the axe though. Okay. So this... Uh, I don't know who to take. Let's not take Alan. Uh, let's pick units. Let's not take Alan. I would need a healer. I can take Lug actually instead of Clarine for this turn. Yeah, let's take Lug because he can attack as well as heal. Uh, let's not take Lilina. Let's not take. We have to take Merlinus. Uh, uh, let's. Shin is out. Astor is in. Chad is in. Lance is in. And Ogier is in. Yeah, this should be good actually. Okay, uh, let's what we. Yeah, let's see if we can do with this. Uh, actually. As. Or, uh, oh, sorry, uh, Astor. Yeah, this is fine. Let's remove the things we don't need. Yeah, I think if we remove the things we don't need, like how many box, how many chests are there? Check the map. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Okay, there are 12 chests and there are a lot of people. So 12 chests means I need 12 empty slots. How many minimum, how many slots do we have? 2, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and yeah, I can make 12, I guess, if I remove Merlinus and pick something else. So pick units, let's remove Merlinus and let's add somebody else. Uh, somebody who can actually, like somebody who can actually carry.
Uh, I think only stealing needs empty slots in six, not chest opening. Are you sure? If that's the case, then I. Uh, like, uh, I think I heard from somewhere that Merliness uh, would be needed if uh, I, uh, like, got items from a chest and if. Uh, Ooh, if that's the case, then I'm fine. Uh, let's bring in one more guy. Uh, let's bring in. Thanks, Samuel. Uh, that that was that was really helpful. I was like really stuck on if I should bring Merlinus because I could only take eight units. But okay. Uh, power move. Let's take Shauna because Shauna. No, let's not take Shauna. <laughs> Let's take somebody. <laughs> I don't know, there are so many people. <laughs> well, I only take Berliness because I know some. Okay, um. Not gonna go through it. Uh, let's take. Yeah, let's take Shen. Okay, I'm final. I'm taking Shen. Okay, now we trade. Roy, sorry, Roy has a rapier, an iron sword, and a thing, uh, and a worm slayer. We don't need a worm slayer because uh, I'm pretty sure there shouldn't be any uh, worm riders in a cave. Lance Reaver. Yeah, let's actually buy him another iron sword so buy an iron sword oh i don't have enough money i need to sell stuff so transfer take i have a lot of gems that i need to s uh, white gem blue gem blue gem uh oh sorry not discard uh, armory sell so i have 100 gold and uh she says i'm good with funds and blue jam so in seven he doesn't uh, have a slot uh, uh like you can take him without a slot okay iron sword for roy We need a fire for our guy. How much heal does he have? He has 12 heal. So what we're gonna do is buy a heal and transfer. Give the whole heal back. Also give the vulnerary back. No, actually take the vulnerary. You might need it since he's the only healer. Yeah, take the three vulnerary. What does the elixir do again? Yeah, don't worry. The healer will take the. In seven, the game just asks if you want to him to join the map. Oh yeah, and he has a tent on him. Yeah, I I remember now. I remember a little bit. <laughs> okay, Lance needs an iron sword. Ogier is good. Chad might need an iron sword. Yeah, but it starts. Uh, okay. <laughs> does he only get XP from combat in six? He does. He gets one XP for every time the enemy misses. I, I really want to find out what happens. When he gains a level, but I don't know. Like, let's not discard, transfer, uh, give the door key away. Let me actually see what I have. Like, do I have stuff I can uh, actually... So there's a secret book that increases skill, increases luck, increases defense. Increases magic and strength, increases speed, 
and for Pegasus Knights. I just have one Pegasus Knight. Okay, let's uh, let's actually give some of this stuff to some of the people. Uh, item list. Skill. What does skill do again? Let me just check real quick. A higher number improves the hit percentage. Okay, so we can return and trade and let's actually give the skill to Lance because he's been missing a lot. Uh, transfer, take, secret book and wells. Yeah, I think I need to give speed wings to Shin because Shin needs to be faster. Yeah, that should be good. Uh, return. Uh, also, let's check the map so that we have our... That's a lot of people. I don't know if I'm doing like if I'll be able to handle it, but hopefully I will. Let's just return and... Sorry, uh, you're useless, Augury. Why do I always keep going back to Augury? Let's save. They can, uh, and let's fight. Let's see if we can do this. This is the end of the cave. The treasure, where are you? Answer me. <laughs> Boss, are you sure about this? The men from Bird just told us to block the entrance. If they catch us now, they'll surely have us back in chains. You fool. We'll do as we're told in time. They'll never know that we took the treasure. If we block the entrance without taking the treasure, it's all the same anyway. Do you really want the pro treasure trapped in here for eternity? Well, when you put it that way, I guess you're right. Boss, there's an army stationed outside the cave. What? They want to take our treasure, do they? Have the boys near the entrance take them out. And grab all the treasure chests, we rightfully stole them first. Oh yeah, <laughs> we do. Uh, I think I'm gonna do the 10 uh, tutorial chapters really fast. Uh, but I'll, 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 I'll do some research and uh, study up on it so we know I'm not messing up. A legendary weapon lies in this cave? It's so dark here. According to the scholar in Jutes uh, I spoke to, the, the legendary weapon in this cave is most likely the Thunder Axe. Armads, an axe this time. Armads was wielded by Durbin the Berserker, who was said to be a colossus of a man. A single blow from his axe surely made short work of any opponent. Elfin, this se uh, you seem to know a lot about the eight legends and their weapons. I'm a bard, it's my job to know myths and legends. I'd like to hear some of them when you have the time. Of course, Lord Roy, it seems we are not alone in this cave. We aren't? There are also noxious rooms coming out of cave walls. We must tread lightly. Uh, it's not your gameplay that works, it's the... F <laughs> uh, I'm sorry bro, I can't do anything about the dialogue. Cool, let's see if we can kill a lot of people. You. Uh, iron sword? Not enough damage. But if you have an iron sword, this guy can't hit us. Yeah, let's do an iron sword. Zero hit chance. That's what I love to see. Okay. This is good. Can you attack somebody this turn? You can. Uh, let's get him forward. Oh gear. Cannot attack anybody this turn. Let me actually move up first and finish off everybody there. Yeah. Let's go here.
Lance can. Damn it, Lance! You just had one job. <laughs> Pretty sure B button skip the dialogue in GBA once. Yeah, I can press uh, the start button to skip all the dialogue, but then I would be confused later on about who and where one is. Like the most of the dialogue is uh, bad and uh, useless, but some of the dialogue is important. Cause, for example, if I skip the dialogue, I wouldn't know we're here for a legendary weapon. Uh, so yeah, there's that. <laughs> a store, can you come here and attack him with an iron sword? Actually, the only reason it didn't hard mode is the fact that the game doesn't force you to do stuff. Yeah, that's also the case. Like, in some of the games, I, I don't know, like, it's uh, very rarely done in this game, but in other games, there's a hint uh, that, okay, uh, they first say, hey, I'm waiting for this guy, or I'm looking for this guy. That's how I recruited Shin, actually. I. Uh, found out he's waiting. He's looking for my other uh, archer who died in the same level. But <laughs> again, I found out he's looking for this archer, so I had to include her in that stage, so I could, uh, yeah, Sue. Uh, so I could actually recruit Shin from Sue. So, the, like that way, you need to pay a little attention to the dialogue because you find out who needs to be where. Uh, old gear can go up here. Hopefully he doesn't die. Oh, the store is good. So that's the only reason. Damn it. They're pilfering everything. I need to... Okay, I need to be careful of these fumes. The daughter, his daughter and dad are playable, but not him. <laughs> Wait, who? Uh, Wrath? Who's Wrath? Do you mean Wraith? I don't know. Um, let us. Steel Sword. Iron Sword. Armor Slayer. No. Okay, uh, so Lance can go here. And attack him with an iron sword. Wait, this iron sword does single damage, but this iron sword does double damage? For some reason? Wrath. See, this is why I need to pay attention more to the dialogue. I sometimes forget who is who. And I know it's my fault, but still. Uh, how come one iron sword was doing single damage and the other was doing like did they have an implementation here uh, let me check the two iron swords they look the same oh he's an fe character uh yeah that i got from the end but Still, uh, let, can I steal from him? I don't think he'll drop the antitoxin if I kill him, so let's steal from him. Let's steal the antitoxin from him. Let's go! And we can kill him off with Chad. Yes, we can! One is single because it only had one use. Oh, oh, I got it, I got it. Yeah, how can you attack somebody twice if it breaks on the first try? And that makes sense. I was just being stupid. Okay, I can't attack this guy now because I don't know if he's there or not. Let's take him here. The path is revealed and we can attack. I should have brought one of my thieves this side. 
Uh, it's fine. It's fine. Uh, let's attack with him. Uh, with a steel blade. Uh, with an iron sword. Yeah, we should be fine with an iron sword. Lug is not a lamb. Lug is a wall. <laughs> like, even if you think of Lug as a sacrificial lamb, like he can, he can make you see uh, stars in the day. So, short bull has a ninety-two percent chance. Steel has a seventy-seven, and iron bull has. Yeah, let's finish off short bull because I really. Does Iron Bow have a higher crit chance? Iron Bow has a lower crit chance. Let's finish off Sword Bow. Even with a Flux, we should be fine. Let's go, Shin! I mean, if there are more enemies that will come from here and attack Shin, then Shin would be the sacrificial lamb. Uh. Let's take Roy here. Okay, why do I feel like I need to take it slower? Because... Like, dividing my units up into two places might pose a great threat, threat later on. This guy... He just has a steel sword. I think Ogier should be able to kill him. The steel sword. Yeah, it'll be a battle. How far can he... Yeah, I think I'm just gonna go a little back. Just because... I don't have... Like, my healer is way behind so let's bring my healer close sure why not i really don't want to be using heals for small things but rutger can you kill this guy you can what about shen can you kill this guy heal bow what about this guy. Okay, you're close. Oh my god. Again. Uh, just give me a moment. Flash ban. NC. A O U. A O S H U A. B three eight. And slash ban. I'm sorry. This is gonna take some time. Uh, and Simon. 3095. Sorry guys. No link posting and stuff like that on my channel. I know it's not a big channel, but... Uh, I like to think... Uh, the community be, would be... What happened? Did a link bot show up? Two link bots showed two link bots showed up actually. That's fine though. I banned both of them. Let's go, Rutger. Kill the guy. Oh no. Rutger can take on two bandits, I believe in him. How far can he come? Shin should attack from here. With an iron bow. And Shin levels up. Yeah, the music is awesome. Like it's like it's one banger after another. It's mostly similar music, but yeah, it just it's it's just really really good. That was a very good roll. Yeah, I'll need to start stealing from thieves if I 
want to actually get those items elixirs would be really really good hey he's the main character i have to if i have to have him on every level i need to at least try to make him better even if uh, it's just seven strength uh i can do this Uh, steel bow. Yeah. Come on, Shen. I know, but he look. He does look. He is pathetic. But since he has to be in every round, I need to at least try to get him to a higher level. Steel blade, steel sword, a steel sword should be enough. That too with a, with a crit. This is fine. Okay, Lance needs healing, Dad needs healing. Fukir, how much damage do you do? You do Fukir damage and take 12 damage. Let me heal Lance first. I want to see what the killing is. does. You haven't? Yeah, he, uh, Rutger, when he uh, got promoted, he got a lot of crit so he uh, and also sword is ass on him so he's a sword master he doesn't do any other weapons but he does a very high amount of crit which is really awesome <laughs> so yeah there's that lance can you how much do you do you do 11 damage yeah let's do 11 damage It's fine. O gear. I don't even know where I got O gear to be honest. Let's see if your steel sword can kill him. It can. And you level up. Oh, we got him on the Lilina chapter. Like he's such a forgettable character uh, to be honest. He has good stats though. I'm not gonna lie, but he's such a forgettable character in a whole. Uh, let's take a store to this side. And yeah, let's keep Chad. Yeah. That there's no assassin's class in this game. They're stealing everything. I need to steal back from the thieves. Well, how uh, I want to know how good were the assassin's class? Uh, 18 damage, and I take 11 damage. How much does Roy do? Now let's start with Roy. Let's go Roy! Roy... F Roy f finishes him off. Let's take our guy here. He has an antitoxin. Let's trade. I forgot to use... Uh, let's actually use speed wings on him. So that his speed is increased, which means uh, it uh, he'll have better evasion, which I actually need. Yeah, let's keep him here. You can go here and trade and give him the antitoxin. 
Oh, it's an antitoxin. It doesn't heal HP, does it? Yeah, poison. I, I don't want to cure poison. Rutger, do you have a vulnerary? You do. Uh, trade with him. Give him a vulnerary. And this side. This guy just has a steel bow. So, let me attack him with Chad first. Lethal Lethality can one-shot anyone. That's actually really good. Even bosses? Let's go, old gear. Kill him. That would be awesome if if it could one-shot even bosses. Like, it, I know lethality would be rare, but still. Let's heal Lance again. I don't... there's one more guy. He has a poison axe. Yeah, let's just wait here. Actually, I think I might bring these units back as well, because... That's fine. Uh, yeah, uh, you need... Uh, like, actually, I, I, I do side quests... Just, not to stock up on items, but actually to give EXP. Yeah, I don't want to send Lance forward just for him to get poisoned and die. So for one stage, Lance just stays here. That's fine. Ooh, I've done that with uh, actually arena. I've done that with arenas, to be honest, where I just uh, play the arena again and again, and I buy a lot of items. Let's actually wait here. Kill this guy with Rutger, maybe. Yeah. Let's go, Rutger. Yeah, I do the same thing. I I I do the arena and then. Uh, just make my home in the shops. <laughs> Let's go Lance. Attack him with an iron sword. Full gear. Finish him off. The old reliable. You know, the first time I played this, uh, like, uh, the first time as in when I started this series, the first level I played where I needed to uh, recruit Rutger, he killed two of my units before I could talk to him. And the second time I played, he, uh, sorry. The second time I played, I actually killed him by mistake. He attacked one of my units and one, my unit just, uh, critical hit him and he died. This is actually, healing is actually a very good way of uh, developing Lug, because since uh, Lug is already level uh, promoted, he wouldn't actually uh, do well with... Uh... Let's just actually, how far, okay, it's just still here. I think we can do it. Uh, let's take Lug, he uh, let's take our Eve here. Yeah, it's just this one guy. That's fine. Uh, let's take Roy here. Does he? Like, I don't know what his rank is right now. Let's see. Yeah, he's improving on... Like, he already has S rank on Tomb, so... Healing is actually giving him a better use of staffs, so that's actually a good thing. Let's kill him again. Uh, Alan can come here. 
attack him with an iron sword. Yeah, we are safe to grind a little bit. That's why I gave him a heal. I should have given him two heals to be honest, but it's fine. That's a good roll for... How much does... Yeah, let's kill him with Chad. Let's go Chad! Uh, who needs healing? Nobody needs healing. So let's just do this. Heal here. So 5 EXP every time he heals. That's actually good because that means uh, it's leveling up his staff as well. Uh, but also, uh, I think we, there's a bandit here. He's the guy who stole all the elixirs and antitoxins. I don't want to kill him, actually. I need to steal everything back before I kill him. So... You actually go here and trade with him. Actually, no. Roy, come here. Trade with him. Take his light brand for this turn. You come here. Wait. You can stay here and wait. Oh no. Lug is poisoned. Does anybody have an antitoxin this side? He has an elixir. He has a secret book which I'm gonna use. And we're gonna go down here. So Lug... Since you don't have anybody to heal, you should actually come down here so we can anti give you an antitoxin. A quick way to uh, guard, he's lo he is loaded. Uh, that's why I'm gonna steal everything from him. Elixir. Give me elixir. More than the antitoxin, I want the elixirs because they're really, really good. Uh, let's go here. Maybe go here. Wait. And Roy maybe come here and wait. Rutger maybe go... Wait. The Rutger go here. Wait and takes his elixir. We can go here. Oh here. Oh here. Hopefully I didn't send anyone to their death. Let's go chat. The problem I found out with uh okay, uh, not I found out, but the problem with arena is after a few battles, it starts to get really really difficult. If that makes sense. Steel, another elixir. Uh, Rodga is full as well, I guess. Do you have antitoxin? I could have actually. Let's just put him here. Wait. This should be fine. On Shin. And Shin crits. So after uh, a given time, you have to start... Wait. 
let's give the experience to all gear so what i was saying was in the arena after you fight like five or six people uh like it got too hard and i had to give up because uh, my unit started dying if i kept continuing wait here okay rodger can come here I'm stupid. I'm actually stupid. Yeah, this is a short game. I'm just gonna restart this thing. Uh, suspend. Uh, if we if we just. Uh, like normally I'm okay with people dying, but there are just eight people. Um, I already saved. Do I need to give anything else to anybody? No. Yeah, actually, let's give uh, Lug. Let's give Lug one more heal. So transfer. Uh, this is uh give you don't need l fire and take is that yeah take a 12 heal why not uh save oh yeah chest keys i have chest keys um why not use chest keys right uh is already loaded. Full gear gets a chest key. I just have one chest key. Uh, take. Yeah, I have a lot of door keys. I don't have chest keys. So trade with Shin. No, with O gear and take his chest key. Cool. Uh, save. Uh, let me just. Yeah, it's fine. Let's just start. We don't need to hear all this because we've already played this. So Shin can go here. Actually, Old Gear can go here and kill this guy. Let's go, Old Gear. And a crit. Hopefully Roy can be useful. We don't know. So one thief should go here. And the other thief should go to the right. Roy should... Like, let's take Roy to the top. Again, Rodger to the right. Uh, can you kill this guy, Lance? Iron sword, iron sword, javelin, you can kill him with a steel lance but there's a low chance you won't. Let's try it out anyways. You should, you should continue the story, like after FE7 you do FE8, uh, the only reason I say to do it in order is because they added new mechanics every other game, right? So if you just play something that's really, really recent and then go back, like you start missing that mechanic. Like that's what happened for me. Uh, that's why I went back. Like, I don't know why. Uh, let me just check what Fire Emblem I was playing before uh, when I was not streaming. Uh, so... It wasn't dolphin or bombs. It was Fire Emblem Path of Radiance. I started playing that game and then I got to a level uh, like and then when I came back to Fire Emblem 
the binding blade i started missing all the mechanics in path of radiance i don't remember what those mechanics were now but for once i started missing them for a small amount of time and i was like hey so if i play them in order maybe i won't miss them uh thank you for coming to my ted talk uh what does chad have chad has iron blades so go here item yeah this is fine unlock we got an antitoxin and you can come here wait let's go this guy also has a halberd What's Fire Emblem 8 anyways? I think it's the final trilogy of the Blade series, right? Uh, let me just check real quick. So... I go back. So... Sorry, uh, I'm just checking the next... Yeah, after the Blazing Blades is the Sacred Stones, so maybe try that. Uh, yeah, uh, sorry, I got distracted a little bit searching for stuff. Let us kill the bandit with a star. Or let us kill the bandit with Ogier. Shield sword it is. Oh, gear levels up. That's an okay roll. That's a very good roll, actually. Uh, we can kill him. Last time we killed him with one turn with a... FE7 and had to go for a bit since my parents just came home. Oh, oh what I said was uh, go in sequence. Uh, like, I would suggest that you go in sequence. So, after Fire Emblem uh, 7 comes Fire Emblem 8, the Sacred Stone. So, I think you should play that. But, like, that's just a suggestion from my side. Yeah, it's not about just the related stuff. It's that uh, if you go in order, then... Uh, uh, the features and the characteristics get added, uh, keep getting adding up. If that... Oh, you've already played Sacred Stones? Then go for the next one. Like, it's a long series, bro. <laughs> uh... Sure. So what's after the Sacred Stones? Uh, let me just look again. Uh, worldwide. Path of Radiance. How far along are you in the Path of Radiance? Then, uh, don't you have a PC? Like, I play these games in PC. Uh, they're still on a thing, but... I mean, like, uh, they're still on a ROM, because... I think you should be able to... Like, what's the RAM in Chromebook? I think you should be able to run ROMs really well in Chromebook. Like, not really well, but you should be able to... Uh, do some stuff in it. I might be wrong, though, but... That's what I... What you should be able to do. How much health does Chad have? Chad has full health. Yeah, Chromebook allows you to only download apps from 
uh, the Play Store, right? I might be missing stuff here. I've never used a lot of Chromebook. Uh, download Play Store apps. Does it let you download Play Store apps? Yeah, it does. And there are uh, emulators uh, for... Wait, since the Play Store is mobile focused, it doesn't have any GameCube apps. I thought it did. Uh, let me just check real quick. Uh, if I go to my Play Store, which I lost somewhere, Google... Uh, P, 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 play, damn it, play games, play store, GameCube, emulator. So there, the Dolphin emulator is there. You can also get RetroArch, which has all the emulators inside. Like, RetroArch is really good to have. So maybe try RetroArch. Like, it has like it it can't guarantee a hundred percent emulation but it's like a compilation of all the best emulators there is so retroarch would be a good place to start in my opinion yeah it's fine go up here Yeah, that's also good. Looking for a physical copy is like, that's the best case scenario, in my opinion. Because nothing would beat the physical copy. I haven't played a lot of Radiant Dawn to be, on to honestly tell you. Uh, isn't that the one where the blight attack happens? I'm not sure. Let me just check real quick. Radiant Dawn. I'm not sure. Path of Radiance and Radiant Discs are like $200. Wait, they are? Are they really that expensive? Over here. Seriously, are they really that expensive? Damn. Really? Uh, like, uh, then like you have to make a choice. Like, I know it sounds rude, but then beggars can't be choosers. Like, you play with what you can get, I guess. Yeah, Ike is really good. Uh, Oh, Radiant Dawn is the one where you're a mercenary group, right? And then uh, another country attacks you. I have to kill him. Yes. Oh, both games are mercenary groups. Yeah, I've 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 played a little bit of them, but then again, I. Then I decided I wanted to play in order, so I started playing in order. I haven't used the speed wings on him yet. I should use stuff on people. He has a sacred book that I should be using. So maybe I can kill him with fire? No. What about with an iron blade? No. Yeah, I think Lug can take a few hits. Yeah, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring him here. 
and use the sacred book and you stay here you go here and attack him with fire and all of you stay here this turn He should be fine. Let's go chat. Uh, Greel mercenaries with Ike in Path of Radiance and Makaya's Dawn Brigade. Greel mercenaries in Radiant Dawn. Ooh. I've honestly forgotten so much. I, I think in Radiant Dawn you can actually recruit the main villain. Seriously? What's the use then if you can recruit the main villain? Like not fight him and recruit him or recruit him after you fight him? Or recruit the main villain of Path of Radiance in Radiant Dawn? I'm not sure anymore. Stop stealing stuff. Wait, I'm also stealing stuff, but stop stealing my stuff. Now let's kill him. I suck and can't kill anybody. I think be able to. Yeah. Can you go down there and attack him? Yes, you can. Light brand? No. You should go down here, attack him with an iron sword. Steel blade. Steel sword. Yeah, with the steel blade. Hopefully we can kill him. Yes. You need to play the whole game once, but so by end game you can convince him that the that resurrecting a dark god won't eventually race, so he joins you against aforementioned god oh that's actually a really nice uh playability arc iron sword yeah let's use the iron sword why not it's nice that they add a little like uh, replayability arcs to the games uh but like again uh it would have been much better if they could just tell you uh give you a hint hey longest game doesn't mean like uh, a bad game or maybe that's how i feel at least so lance and chad so good news I get to heal people. Isn't Radiant Dawn the game that actually acknowledges that there are dragons and just uh, the dragons have their own kingdom somewhere that is not human kingdom? Wait, isn't Radiant Dawn the one with the... Darn it. Isn't Radiant Dawn the one with the people who are half animals and half people? Like they can turn into animals or something? Um, so let me just ban the guy. WWE1CACIU101. No, I mean, uh, they acknowledge their origins, but. Uh, for example, in this game, nobody knows about the dragons uh, until uh, Burn start. Like nobody cares about the dragons until Burn starts to uh, tries to actually get them back. But in that game, the dragons have their own kingdom, and like everybody knows, the dragons have their own kingdom. Yeah, Laguz. Uh, uh, sorry, if sorry if I'm butchering the name, but Laguz is really really good. Like they're really really uh, good at like killing people and everything else. Ah, uh, sorry, I'm just... Uh, my head's not in the right place right now. 
Lagoos are really good. For what it's worth. Hopefully he doesn't have... He has a poison axe. Let's go right. Back in with the rapier to just kill him off. I don't know how, like, I, uh, again, I played this game a long while ago, so I don't know. But uh, I think, uh, do the royals join you later? I thought the king died or something. Uh, he has an antitoxin. Let's get him here. Doesn't the king die? Trying to save you? Or am I, am I thinking of another game again? Yeah, Lagoos Royals. Uh, don't we uh, run to the Lagoos after we get attacked? Uh, I mean, uh, I'm talking about Ike's story. I, I might be confusing Ike for somebody else here, but Ike runs to the Lagoos uh, after he gets uh, his mercenary group gets attacked, right? Oh yeah, the Black Knight doesn't kill Ike for some odd reason. He kills uh, Ike's uh, mentor, right? If I remember the story correctly, which I'm sure I don't. Let me do a save scum here just because I don't want to replay this whole thing again. If uh, because of the fog Lance or somebody else dies yeah sure go ahead like uh, you're the only one who talks uh, you're the only one who talks the most in the chat anyways so also I don't really uh, mind a little bit of spoilers so it's fine rant away my friend rant away <laughs> so you go here, build him. How far can he come? And you come here and kill him with an iron bow, maybe? No. Short bow? No. Yeah, why not? Let's attack him. He got good. He got good after Path of Radiance. Ah. Uh, Okay. Uh, the Black Knight. Hey, uh, I, I'm starting to get flashbacks, to be honest. Uh, they stop you at the harbor. Uh, I don't know, uh, which means he's half Lagoos and... Uh, oh, so... Zelgius is a branded, which means he's half Lagoos and half human. Uh, but he can't transform. Why can't he transform? Is there a backstory to this? Or is it just like, hey, he can't transform? Let's go. Astora also levels up. Stay hydrated. Should always consider drinking more water. Overhydration is a thing, but underhydration is more dangerous. Uh, all the branded have marks in their bodies that show their lineage and all the lagoos and humans hate the branded since the marriages needed to be considered needed are considered taboo okay so oh okay that explains a lot actually Come here. Oh no. I could have healed somebody with my staff. Could have healed Roy. You go up here. You. Maybe iron sword this guy. Yeah, sure. Why not?
Uh, Zelgius was rejected by everyone until he snuck into an army where he rose the ranks and trained, uh, trained under Griel. Griel is the guy who gets killed by Black Knight, right? I'm just trying to get my story straight. In case, uh... Yeah, Greel is the mentor of Ike who gets killed by the Black Knight as far as I remember. He got taken by Sephiron, a high-ranking official who has actually Laron, a former bird Laguz uh, from Lezen that lost his powers after he had a child with Altina, a human hero. Oh, so he's... Okay, now I understand what you mean by half uh, Laguz. So he's like a cross between Altina and uh... no, no, no. Okay, I'm confused. Uh, but Zagus gets a blessed set of black armor that earns him his name, Black Knight. He retires and has two children, Ike and Mist. Okay, that's... Oh, so Zelgius is the Black Knight? And sword. I should have stolen from him, actually. Let's see if I can kill this guy. The guy with the halberd, right? Yeah, let's wait a turn before I do anything rash. Yeah, this is fine. You just stay here. That's where uh, the Black Knight knows Greedle from. Oh no, Eclipse. Eclipse actually does a lot of damage, to be honest. If it hit me, it would do a lot of damage, I mean. He has a torch and a lockpick. Why don't I go here? Why can't I steal from him? It's fine. I'll just kill him. I'll just kill him. Okay. He looks for his former mentor to spar with him one last time, but since Creel is weakened, he couldn't fight properly and gets killed by the Black Knight. Oh, that was just as... As Greel accidentally kills his wife after touching the flame medallion and partially losing strength in his... Um, okay, that's why they were fighting in the field. I thought... Uh... The Black Knight was actually trying to kill Creel. Uh, does he ha not have anything? He has a lot of stuff. Why can't I steal from him? Oh, my inventory is full. Got it. Uh, item. A trade. Him. Take his elixir. Wait. Wait with him. Damn it. Go here. Heal. Take the elixir. So, his inventory must also be full, right? Chad. Yes. So, I can go to Chad. Trade with him. My inventory is also full. Go to Chad. Trade with him. Take the antitoxin. Wait. Chad and go here. Steal. And take the lockpicks. 
And we level up. Let's go. And maybe we can heal somebody? Yes, we can heal Roy. Go here. Who else is left? Rutger. Rutger needs to come back. Chen. Chen needs to use his speed wings. And stay block his road here. Oh no. 15 damage is okay. Actually. Skip ahead to the store. Okay. He disappears after uh, part way through Path of Radiance and reappears in Radiant Dawn to protect Makaya, a rebel leader who is descendant of Sephiroth under his orders. Skip away to the story after Makaya becomes queen and meets Ike. They meet Zelgius one last time in the goddess tower and Ike and Zelgius have a final one-on-one -on -one death match. Ooh. This is actually nice lore. To be honest. You go here. Trade with him. Take his iron... Take a slim sword. Yeah, let's just kill the bandit now. So Ike and the Black Knight do have a final battle. Like, I haven't played that far, so I don't know. Or I might. I, uh, I, I don't remember is the correct word, actually. He has an antitoxin, so he should be good to unlock this. Yeah, let's send the chest key over. Well, enough. This is fine. Rutger can come back here. Shin can go and ki kill the guy. Yeah, Shin can go and kill the guy. Oh, this is maybe why I didn't play it. Uh, if it's in the at the end of the Radiant Dawn playthrough, then I might not have gone to it. Damn it! I should have traded. It's fine though. Uh, go here. Trade the Chen. Give him. Elixir Store Attack him I also like the quotes in Heroes What quotes? You have to be a little more specific bro uh, Roy is fully healed Chad needs healing Let's go He used one of the elixirs! Okay, I'm just gonna speed this up. The Black Knight was my father's killer and my last teacher. Ooh. That's actually a really good coat. Are there like multiple Ikes in the game? He can, yeah, raid and take the Alexa. Store can come here, steal the Alexa. <sighs> Let's just block his path completely. And Shin can just come here for a while. This is fine. Let me just speed it up. 
That's actually very good lore, to be honest. This guy is slow as hell. Maybe because he's carrying a lot of stuff, I don't know. Uh, Heroes has a Path of Radiance Ike. Valentine's Path of Radi Radiance Ike. Path of Radiance like Ike dressed as Greel. Path of Radiance Ike. Radiant Dawn Ike corrupted by the... <laughs> That's a lot of Ikes. Come on, Chad. That's a lot of Ikes, to be honest. Okay, he's full. I need to go here. Raid. Take the elixir. Uh, use him to steal the antitoxin. And then use my iron bow on him. Why not? And we wait. Eleven damage. That's a lot of damage. Please don't let Lance die. Oh no. Okay, I'm not restarting now. Uh, dead Lance is dead Lance. I'm. I, I am actually getting a phone call, so I'll be right back. Yeah, okay, I'm back. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna let Lance die. It's fine. I tried once, uh, and it's not uh, working, so it's fine. Yeah, Alan's alive. Alan's awesome. Let me just kill him with Lug. How much does Dad do? Aid. Lug. Start with Lug. He does Nosferatu damage. That's the thing. Good thing he missed though. Like Nosferatu actually drains my health. Now I uh, isn't I'm not sure is awakening the one with the uh, animations and the voiceovers. Like I'm sure uh, a lot of the new games have voiceovers and animations, but I'm not sure which game I'm talking about. This is fine. Boy can come here. Did I steal everything from him? Yes. Now we kill him. Come here. You attack him with an iron sword. Let's go. Attack him with an iron sword. This is what I do to thieves. I level up with them. That's actually like, I don't know if it's a cash grab uh, situation or if they're actually uh, 
like wait but is isn't the whole point of it uh okay so uh let me just uh get my characters in order go here you go here yeah isn't uh there's uh, the stories of characters based on different places like completely different worlds attack him with a rapier okay awakening was supposed to be the final game i did not know that that's what they uh, did with pokemon as well right uh technically pokemon the second game pokemon gold and silver was supposed to be the last pokemon game so that's why they added the first pokemon the whole map of the first pokemon game into pokemon uh, gold and silver as well uh go here Dad can come here. Let's see who the main... He has a devil axe. Should be careful around him. Go here. Oh, he could be healed. So, if we go down here... We can steal from the chests. Until then, Rutger can go up. And you can go up too. Hey. Okay. So, and you come here. Oh no. Where can he come to? Come to yes. Let's get him here. Let's wait. Yeah, that's fine. Let's get Chad this side. Okay, there are two. He has a killing edge. He has a devil axe. And this guy has a silver axe. So let me actually go here and try to entice him just this guy to come closer and maybe go here and we can bring him here and we can bring him here and we can go here oh no oh yes poison At least he can use the antitoxin. He has an elixir. He has an elixir. Why does everybody have elixirs? Okay. You go here. Let's do it this way. You go here. Wait. With him. Give him the antitoxin. Wait. You go here. Wait. With him. Give him the antitoxin. Wait, you come here. Item, use the antitoxin. You, here, heal, Rutger. You, go for the chest in the corner. You, unlock this chest. Antitoxin. Let us send it to Molinus. I don't know. Jin can wait here. Uh, okay. Rutger can take a few, few blows, but Rutger can't take a critical hit, which is the problem here. You go and heal Ogier. 
I just want to get everybody prepared so I can just kill those two guys in one turn. If need be, that is. Uh, you unlock this. White gem. What else? Full gear can come here. You can unlock this chest. Antitoxin. Send it over. Okay, we need more lighting here. Okay. And you kill this guy. Cannot. Roger, can you kill him? You can. So he goes still there. Let's get my units. I don't know who to make a sacrificial lamb out of just in case they die. And you kill him. Yeah, I think Rutger can just go a few steps ahead. You can stay here. Actually, does anybody need any healing yet? Earth. Okay, we should be good now. Come up here. Yeah, we should be good now. Uh, you come here. So what we're gonna do is, we're gonna first unlock this. We get a red gem. We're gonna send it over. You are coming here. Rudger can reach him now, right? Yeah. Rudger can st cannot still kill him, and he has a higher hit rate. Much damage. What about you? Okay, this should be fine. Rutger, go here. Back with your steel sword. No. Iron sword. Yes. Okay. Now what we do is we get you to come here. And attack him with your iron bow. Kill again. Then there. And then we can get him. Kill the other guy. The fire. Let's go. Full gear can come here. Boy can come here. And a store come here. Okay, now how do I kill this guy? Let's see how much attack he does. He does 20 attack. No accuracy. But he has a 31 chance percent chance of critting me. What about with a steel sword? Steel blade? No. Uh how much damage? 14 damage. That's actually good. So 
since I don't want to play this game again, uh, play this level again, and I've already lost Al, and I'm just saving once, so that it's easier for me to replay it later. So, first I'm gonna take Lug and do 14 damage. Ah! Ah! I don't know what that is. And Ben can go here, and you heal bow, iron bow. Why not? Come on, Shin. Okay. Yeah. You can stay here. Stay here. That's a lot of heal, to be honest. 17 with the 21. Yeah, that's not good either. If he crits me, I'm dead. Let's see if I can steal his hand axe. I can't. Like, even the steal option doesn't even show up. So... If I go here now and attack him with a steel blade... Yeah, let's keep attacking him. I need to rescue Lug now. So... Ah... Uh. Do an iron sword attack. Maybe we'll crit. We did not crit. Rudger is almost leveled up. Yeah, sure, why not? Okay, I think I can finish him with Roy. I cannot because Roy does zero damage. That's not good news at all. I can kill him, but with a steel sword and an armor slayer, no, with an iron sword I can kill him. I also want to really try for Roy though, so what I'm, uh, hello again Azuril, uh, I can again, I can like, okay let me save, he has a rapier right? Zero damage. Yeah, sure, why not? Let's attack him. At least we get one EXP. Finally, old gear. Let's go. And you miss. Which was expected. Thor. Let's let him pick who he wants to kill. Okay. He could have killed anybody, but he didn't. And Lug levels up. Da. Let's go, Lug. That's a very good draw. Good roll, I mean. Uh, and you. Seize the throne. Where is the legendary weapon? Hmm. I hear wind blowing from behind the throne. What? I can't hear it. A niche between the floor and the wall. Oh, it opens. But this is the legendary weapon. This axe is enormous. Armat. The very axe wielded by Durban the Berserker. It certainly appears fit for a warrior of his stature. 
Report. I have a message from Etria. A revolution has broken out in Aquilia, capital of Etria. What? The ones leading the revolution are High Chancellor Rorts and Lord Arcardo. They have captured King Mordred. They also say they plan to divide the dominion of the continent between Bern and Atria. The two strongest nations of Elib joining forces. Is General Cecilia alright? And what of Princess Guinevere? We don't have a cur any current information, but three Atrian generals have parted ways and are working separately. Mage uh, General Cecilia has fled Aquilia for Misur Peninsula in the southeast. And the other generals? They are with the revolutionaries against their will because the king was taken hostage. Lord Roy, we need to contact General Cecilia. Princess Jennifer, please be safe. Let's go. Let us. Roy can actually use our mods? You made a sequel to uh, Florina picture. Really? Let me see if... Did you post it in the Discord? Oh no, I like this character, Awakening Edition. Florina. She's really cute. Uh, anywho, the chaos uh, caused by a coup at Aquilia quickly spreads to the rest of Etria. Cecilia escapes with Genevieve, Genevieve for Aquilia. From Aquilia, she also forms a loyalist group to combat the revolutionaries. The revolutionaries, however, have burn on their side. King Mordred has also become been taken hostage, giving the revolutionaries an, another edge. General Douglas and King General Knight General Percival are forced into their service. With so much power, the, revolu the revolutionaries easily push the loyalists out of Etria. The loyalists are driven into an old castle on Mr. Mr. Peninsula. Roy leads the learns that Cecilia has been forced back by the rev revolutionary. In response, Roy heads for Monsieur. The loyalists are under attack by both revolutionaries and Burns military. With such adverse adversity, the loyalist forces have little time. Okay. If Pent was here, this wouldn't happen. Really? Where's Pent? Uh, is did I lose him in a battle somewhere? I don't know. Let's check the map real quick. Uh, uh, check map. Ooh, I have a lot of units here. Okay. They also have a lot of units here. Damn. This is gonna be a big battle. They also have the arena here. A vendor, an armory. And a lot of houses. This is the first time I'm looking at a healer, a mounted healer from Etria, uh, from the enemy, to be honest. This guy, how far can he. Oh, he's not. Uh... Yeah, he doesn't attack. He doesn't have that much of a range as I thought he would, to be honest. Uh. Let's return. Uh, I saved already. Uh, yeah, I think I'm done for today. It's been more than three hours. So, uh, yeah, guys. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, bye bye. And I, I don't know what else to say. Uh, yeah, bye bye.